Hi, in this tutorial we will talk about the healing brush tool. You will find this tool just beneath the spot healing tool and to activate it you just do shift plus J and get this tool activated. So let's move forward and understand this tool better. Healing brush tool is used for correction imperfection. In the same way the spot healing brush was also used for doing it but in spot healing brush would actually the tool actually itself gets the textures and colors from areas around it and remove that blemish but here we are sampling areas and painting over our imperfections it is just beneath this ball healing tool like i just said the hotkey is shift plus j so to move around the tools available for healing brush and spot healing brush we use the shift key it's very similar to clone stamp tool also like we did in the previous tutorial the clone stamp tool also paints the sample pixels and paint over the area you wish to paint. The healing brush tool matches the texture, lightening and shading of the pixels that need to be healed. So the, basically the correction seems seamless. So let's go ahead, take an image and use this tool. In this tutorial, we will learn about the healing brush tool. In the previous tutorials, we had talked about the spot healing brush, which simply clicks on the spot and uses the area around it and fixes that spot. But now we're talking about the healing brush tool, which is just under the spot healing brush tool. And we can go around these areas with just the control and J and we have this healing brush tool. So healing brush tool is very similar to the clone stamp tool and it correct imperfections it's very similar to like I said to the clone stamp tool and paint with similar pixels from an image or pattern but it's also one thing that really it does more than the clone stamp tool is that it also matches the texture lightning and transparency and shading of the sample pixels to the pixels being healed so it appears more seamless let me go ahead and basically do this so i have basically this area which is a lot of pimple but i see a clear area here what i can do is i can alt and sample those areas and i can start painting over so if you see that i am painting over this area which is cleaner in her body onto a face which is actually needs healing so i am painting over from the area and which I believe now I have actually I need to do a control set and get back to my actual area. So I'm just gonna do control Z and I'm gonna heal. Now I can keep sampling now if I feel I'm going in here I can sample again and start painting. So sampling is always possible. So you have to actually I'm going first but you actually have to go slow. So I've kept I've kept my mouse pressed while I paint and once I do release I release my mouse again I sample this area by pressing alt so remember whenever you so let me do it again come here to that area which is clean you press an alt and take that area and release alt release your mouse come back here your cursor will change and you start painting again you come here so I want to remove that area I come to an area that's Press Alt, you can see my cursor has changed. I've sampled this area and now I will start painting on this area. So, so it basically samples area and paste on to. Yeah, so you can see how much we have covered, try to cover her face. And again, I, I'm gonna do this. So with clone stamp tool, you have to go slow. Be careful that you're not actually sourcing a wrong place. So you can keep sourcing, press Alt, Sample area, paint. Press Alt, sample area, and paint. You can also go ahead and you can change, so it will basically change the distance between source and the paint area. So you can change these things. You can also change the angle of that image on which you are painting so that it makes more convenient. Alright, so that's it for now. This is the healing brush tool for you.